Hi, my name's Jamie, and I have made a blog about my miscarriage. Um, so now I'm actually going to try out doing video blogs. So I'm going to first start by talking about um, my surgery. Um, so around June 16th, um, I ended up going to the doctor. And it was for just my ultrasound and to check on the baby and everything, make sure everything was okay. So, when I did that, um, we were doing the ultrasound. And the person doing the ultrasound, she said, I can't really find your cervix. So, this is an issue. She said, the baby's okay. And we actually found out that we were having a baby girl then. Um, so, that kind of was hard, because, you know, we went from finding out we were having a girl to something like not being able to find my cervix, and that being a big issue. Um, so, finally, when we went, after my ultrasound, we went and saw the doctor. Um, he basically said that my cervix was starting to loosen. And so then we have to rush to Northside after that because I had an appointment with a specialist, which he really wanted me to go to um, today, that day, like to figure out um, what was the best option. So, of course, you know, that being very stressful, um, we went over to Northside. We met with a specialist, which they did more ultrasounds and all that stuff. And her suggestion was to, um, for me to have surgery that Friday, which was the 18th. So, we set up that, which, um, you know, that whole surgery stuff, I'm not very, a big fan of, um, but I needed to do it as far as, you know, making sure my child would be okay. And it was really hard because, you know, it just made me nervous about a lot. And it made Matt, my husband, very nervous too. Um, because that just put a strain to where we were going to be separated for a little bit, which made him really nervous because he didn't want anything to happen to me. And so, um, as far as that, like, we had to get everything set up, and we left, and I think when we got home, we talked forever about all this, because it went from, you know, something so happy to something so sad, and all in one time. So then, the 18th rolled around, um, we got to Northside, I had to be there at 10, my surgery was at 11 I believe or noon but they wanted me there at 10 so we had to sit down and wait for a second and then we talked to the insurance people which of course I had to say that I couldn't pay for that like I had no money at the time because I had already just gotten into a wreck and so that caused more stress because all I had was $500 to pay for my car and that's it. So we told them that and then we went back out, sat down and then the nurse came out to get me. And we walked to the back and she did all my IVs, my checking my heartbeat, all that stuff got me ready, got me set like in the bed and everything. And then they had to do all that before Matt could come back to be with me for a little bit. So Matt came back and he sat with me and, you know, we watched TV for a little bit. And then the doctor came in and told us what was going to happen, which she was just putting a cerclage into my cervix to shut it to make sure I can, you know, finish out my pregnancy. Um, and then I went back. For surgery and of course you know I kind of had this thing like all they they put the mask over my face and so the anesthesia was like
going into my eyes and it bothered me. So I started kind of like having a panic attack and like biting it a little bit. But then finally I just closed my eyes and that was that. <laughs> Surgery started. <laughs> and afterwards um, I had already felt pain like I was having a little bit of pain and and of course you know they said that it would feel like it's tugging so I just didn't think anything I told them that and they gave me medicine and they wanted to wait and see because they wanted to make sure I wasn't like super groggy going home so and I was also like really thirsty so they gave me ice chips to drink well to eat <laughs> and then they finally let Matt back to see me so that I can end up going home and everything. And once we left, it kind of just like, it was like I was in pain, but not really. So by the time I got home, I just laid down on our couch. And of course, I already had to call out from work to tell them that like I had to have surgery and everything. So they, I made Matt go take my note to work to make sure that I wasn't going to get in trouble for that because we had already had issues with, um, you know, stuff not getting approved or not, you know, getting fixed the right way. So I, mean, I really, really wanted to make sure that got worked out to where I was already going to be on LOA. So basically I had to set up my LOA the next day. And of course, that took a while. It was a process of making sure they understood. Like, I wasn't sure when I was coming back. I didn't know at all. <laughs> I had no idea. Um, it was a lot for me. And I think uh, the surgery part was a lot too. Just so much stress and so much going on at one time. And it all hit me. And that was really, really hard, I guess. Um, So, we got the LOA stuff worked out and just kind of sat on my couch for a while. And that's all for today.